afternoon. We are now at Budangan Depot. So it's approximately 15 km away from Gushanamur. We are going to a new place. It's a little far away from Budagan Bazar. We are going to turn right side. So this is Budagan Bazar. We are turning right. If we go straight away, then we will reach at Hamri Temple. We are going towards Gajalaba. For a huge earthquake and a flood, after 1787, this area goes a little down. You can see it's not too high, but if you see a little away, Boykonto Full Forest geographically a little high, but this area isn't. We are going to turn right. If we go straight, we will reach at Boykonto Full Forest, but we are going towards Milan Full Divider. You can't imagine once a time. It was the alluvial soil of River Tista. You can see, Boykonto Full Forest is too close to me. A little away, a tongar. It was made for the elephants. In my other hand, some research are being made. This is Milan Pallivaja. A bridge is being constructed over Tista Canal. You can see some laborers are walking there. So you can see it's a diversion road here. People who lived here once upon a time, they were transferred to Milan Pulli Dash number. Right now, I'm at Gajanta Babadar. A beautiful moment is going on. Let's enjoy. Some hotels and restaurants are also here. You can see why we are gathered here. Let's see. You can see many products here. It's delicious to eat. Kajal the Batista Barrage. It is designed and manufactured by Jessup. More than 42 log gates are here. We have already crossed Tista Barrage. After a few miles, we are going to turn left towards Odlavari. Odlavari is approximately 13 km away from here. Let's turn left. Market. We are passing through it. Actually, this is 
called Bagan Mor area. This road goes to Tea Garden. This road goes to Pranti. And this road goes to Udlabari Mal Bajar. And this one goes to Gajal Dabai. In my right side is Tree Garden Greenery. It's one of the special signature of doers. So we are going towards Udlabari. traffic. We will take right turn to go to Ramnim. In my both side, Rani Chara Tea Garden. Huh? Yeah. This is actually Ramnim area. Yeah. From here, we have to take left turn. We are taking left turn from here and from here Korobathan is only 13 km. In my left hand, it's military base. This road is not maintained by PWD. It is maintained by BRO, that is Border Road Organization. Good. We are passing through Rani Chada Market. Let's go ahead. We are passing through Shaliti Garden. This is a very important place if you want to hit Garuvathan. You can see here is the road. This road comes from Minglas Tea Garden. If you want to come Garuvathan from Malbajar, you have to take this road. This is a shortcut road. And if you want to come Garuvathan from Udlavari side, you have to take this road. This road comes from Damdim. Damdim. And here is the junction point of three roads. Three roads. Uh, so this is a very important uh, place that is why. Good evening, sir. Actually, this forest ko kya bolta hai? Kya naam hai is forest ka? Garuvathan. Garuvathan forest. Kaun sa range hai? Naura. Naura range. Uh, yeah, actually, this is Naura range. Uh, Garuvathan forest. And uh, this road goes to Lava Lolegao. And from here, Garuvathan is only four kilometers. Surprise for Rupsha. Rupsha? Yeah. Uh, this is Momo point. Yeah. Would you like to take Momo? Yeah, right. Yeah. How many? How many plates would you like to take? One plate. One plate? Yeah. Do you know the name of this place? Garuvathan picking spot? Yes, Garuvathan picking spot. Very famous place. We all know. Yeah. But uh, another name. Uh, this place is called Apar Phagu. We have crossed already 60 kilometers from Jalpaiguri. But yet now, Rupsha don't know where we are <laughs> going. Pritia, yeah. do you need another plate? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, okay. We have to go 2 km onwards now from this Garubhadan picnic spot. Then I will take right turn. We are taking right turn from here. We are going up from here. The road condition is not so good. You can see here. We have to go 5 km onwards from here. This is a small hill village. We are going up the zigzag road. And south U turn heading for us. Road condition is like this. Yeah. yeah. This is your surprise. You can see the yeah. river. Yeah. On your right side. Yeah. Right side. This river is called Dalimkola. Dalimkola. You listen from me. 
Yeah, right. Dalim Khola? Yeah, it's Wapulu. We will not go today. Dalim must be. But we will reach. Thank you, thank you, uncle. Rupcha, yeah. what are your feelings? Please come here, come here. Rain is falling. So, we are now at Dalim Khola. And it's Dalim Khola River. In Nepali language, Khola means river. That's why it's called Dalim Khola. Because of this river. And after reaching here, I'm Amal. Literally, it's a very awesome place. You should visit here. And thanks my best friend, my father, for taking me here. Thank you. Yes, yes. Welcome, Rupsha. Welcome, Rupsha. Rupsha, today is my partner, tour partner. And she is very pleased to reach here. And this bridge, it's a very narrow bridge. If you want to reach Darling Pula or Darling Ford or Darling Bow, etc., you have to cross this bridge. But be careful, it's very narrow. Very beautiful river. And the sound of this river is awesome. And here is the property is growing. Uh, property is growing, but... It is now abundant, perhaps. Thank you. Rain is falling. We have to go to our home. Thank you. And Nusha, yeah. if, uh, do you want to say anything? Actually, this day is a very memorable for me. Because this is the first time I am here. And I have ever been to Dalim Wow, this place is so beautiful. But one of the biggest problem is this bridge. And if I say the rain is falling, it doesn't matter. It's a very wonderful experience to me. This local people initiatives, you are seeing this bridge. This bridge was constructed by the local people. Without this, there is no option to reach Dalim Gao, Dalim Port, Dalim Barsti.